What's up guys, it's your favorite Canadian dating here, Nighthawk or Charles. I'm bringing you this gameplay on Express. I believe I go 16 and 1. I choked the flawless and I like the last round. That would have been awesome to be the flawless. And I should have like two more kills, but then I got screwed over by me streaking kids and them timing out right as I'm about to like hit them with a the hellstorm. Stuff like that. If you know anything about competitive search, you know that, or competitive Call of Duty in general, you know that 16 kills in one game is pretty good. This is a league play game, by the way. It's not GB. But, yeah, that's not really one. what I want to talk about. I want to talk about packs, my thoughts, and the roster changes. So, a week ago, there's an event in Seattle. It was, uh... Well, it's not just Call of Duty, but there's like a lot of different things there, but I really only care about the Call of Duty part. So, um, it was an invite-only tournament. There was eight teams that were invited. I believe it was Bad History, Unite, Complexity, Envious, Soar, Phase, TK, and I cannot remember that eight team. Was it Curse? I don't know. One of those guys. Oh no, Impact, Impact, Impact. Okay, here we go. Impact, Impact is A's one. If you don't know, like, since uh, you Parasite is gone and what's Karma's gone, Impact is like Killer Miracles, BL Fire, and John. They did alright, I mean. It was, I don't know, it's just a weird tournament. But I didn't really like the way it was set up because Soar could have made it to the finals. But it depended on impact beating complexity, and that's just retarded how you have to, like, depend on somebody else to win your game for you. Like, the, your, the fate of you winning isn't in, like, your hands. I don't know, because a whole bunch of them tied for a certain place, and it was just retarded. But then TK ended up having first seed and picking, and complexity to play, and then Unite played phase, I believe. And then... TK, no, TK played Unite, yeah, TK played Unite, and then TK was up 5-3 on this map express, and then they choked, I guess, or they just got outplayed, and Unite came back and beat them to win the series and move on, and it was complexity and Unite in the finals, then Unite beat them, now you're thinking, oh, Unite finally took down complexity, the team that's been winning everything, that's cool, right? But then they decide to drop one of their players, which was Embos, after they win. Like, I don't understand why you drop them. Drop them like you just beat the most. Like, you beat a team and stop them from going on there for Pete, as you guess people call it or whatever. But, I don't know, you take down Complexity, I wouldn't be dropping anybody. I would just be trying to get better as a team, work out all the issues. But, I guess that wasn't what they wanted to do. Parasite put out a video on it saying how um like well how it came across to me it was like basically what he said me hearing it is like i pr i'm gonna give excuses because i like kill a more and embos you know he's kind of i don't like him as much as not play how i like because if, if you don't know parasite put or doesn't anchor anymore and he plays a sub now when you're a sub there's that other player in hardpoint who's like kind of your duo you have to work the hill with and stuff and I guess they just didn't work good together but I don't know so th basically they dropped Embos and picked up Killa one of Parasite's former teammates on impact when they were the most like successful team in this game so yeah that's what happened I don't know I kind of disagree with that you know I really like Killa he's funny and he's you know I've you've seen the, him at Atlanta he's pretty funny but, yeah I uh, just hope they do good or whatever, but yeah, that's not the only team changes that happen. Optic drop Merc. This doesn't have, have anything to do with PAX because they didn't go to PAX. Optic drop Merc because apparently he was having some psychological issues or whatever, and he was just being depressed and stuff. And they didn't want that in the house. I guess on a quick note, because they made like a half hour long video if you want to go watch it while they dropped him. And yeah, since they dropped him. They picked up J Cap because J Pack J Pack J Cap <laughs> heard that they dropped Merc and I guess he wanted to team with them since that was his their his former teammate, you know, when he was back on Optic whenever. So now it's Nade Shot, Scumpy, Big Timer, and J Cap. This should be a good team. 
Like, I mean, they were a top three team. You know, when they were playing, they haven't attended an event in a while. I think the last one was Gfinity or and I'm One of those two, I think Gfinity. Yeah. So now, um, Impact is fully broken up. Like, the original Impact who was winning everything. First, Karma left, then Parasite left, Killer left, and then they would just leave Miracles, and Miracles is now on Curse. So, I really hope to see like miracles do good or whatever on curse to just get back his team for like leaving them not not, not really that they left him just i don't know it's just weird how they're all four in different teams now but i don't know just envy hasn't been really winning anything even at pax like killer was right at atlanta when he said stuff but at pax you could see that having jcap and proofy on the same team was pretty bad because they're both like strong AR players and Proofy's forced trying to sub sometimes. So like Sharp said, and like Hill said, Jcap and Proofy shouldn't be on the same team. Just let Proof anchor and just get a strong sub. Like what I would like to see is they don't pick up Merc, Proof go to anchor, and then they pick up John to be a duo with Karma and pushing that hill. You know, that would be pretty, that'd be cool. And with Rambo, you know, that's just three subs, one AR. That'd be pretty cool. I think MVS would do good. But, you know, it's not up to me. See, that's how the kid timed out on me. Like, I would have had so much more kills. Oh, God, and I'm about to choke this flawless. But I think here's where I get my 16 no kill. So that's my little discussion, rant, whatever you want to call it. All my commentary's trying to rant, but I don't give a fuck. So that's my little thoughts on packs. And I will see you guys later.